Hello, I'm Luke Drefm, back again with another episode of Fight Club Pro TW 2020. Um, don't worry, um, this episode was recorded the same day as the last episode, so I'm not a dirty scrubber wearing the same shirt. There you go. Um, anyway, when you left us off last episode, we continued to um, basically, no, we started something new. We, we obviously had the TV title and we started a little mini storyline between Nathan Martin and Rich Swan which will progress to a storyline between Nathan Martin and Darren Kearney, um, because they will be splitting up as a tag team. And that will be one of our main storylines. As I said in the last episode, I don't think I'll be doing this save any longer, um, because TW9 is coming out, and, I'd, and I'm thinking, to be honest, I'd rather just start again, because I feel like I got too carried away in, 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 in basically trying to make Fight Club Pro the best as possible. And, and, also, I just went all out with production and stuff like that, and I wanted to, I should have slowly built them up um, financially. So as soon as I started doing all that, it just ruined it for me. And then basically what I did is I added about, um, before the last episode, I added about six performance centers, and I had to like use the editor to give me like a, near enough a billion pounds to just pay for all that. So it kind of just ruined it because it made it too easy. And the whole point of the save when I originally started is I wanted to do it from uh, scratch and I wanted to do it right, the right way. And I did. I started halfway through, I kind of lost the vision for the save. So what I'm going to do is start a game on TW9 once there is a decent database come out. Um, and then what I'll do is basically start another save on TW9 as Fight Club Pro, creating my own promotion, Fight Club Pro. And we'll do what we did last time, but we'll take our time building slowly. So I won't be just like increasing the um, production very quickly, or I won't have a massive roster because a lot of the times the wrestlers won't be wrestling and it just adds to my financial woes in that game. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to starting a scratch. I'm looking forward to what I'm looking forward to take on board what I've learned with this one um, and hopefully becoming a better better player of tw for tw9 i'm looking forward to the new features i haven't looked at the the the, di the developer diary or anything like that so i don't know any of the new features so that'll be cool just to get into the game doing it while while we're doing it like playing it um and recording at the same time so that'll be fun but anyway enough of, enough rambling about the intro i'll be back in a sec with the first episode of the first show of the episode <laughs> Right, we're back, and um, I had an interesting news item come up about um, PWG. So PWG are massively in debt, and they are they have gone down massively in um, they're now insignificant. So before we couldn't we couldn't get anywhere because um, we were only tiny. And they were always higher in popularity, so they would never sell to us. But now the roles are reversed. So I'm just going to see if we can buy them out, because I think that would be really cool if we can. So attempted takeover. Oh, there we go. Right, takeover. So we've got the options of a takeover means that the company remains active with its current roster titles, etc. But they are now owned by you. This is especially useful if you want to turn them into a development firm. I don't think that one interests me. Um, Collegian allows you to handpick which assets you wish to keep before closing the company down. If you are, if they are more popular than you in the region, then you will absorb that popularity into your own. Right click on the item to right click on the item to toggle whether you intend to take it or not. Um, disbanding means that the company is permanently closed down. All the workers are released, and that, right. So I don't want that one. So I basically want all these. I want all of them. Pillage. There you go. I've pillaged PWG, everybody. Unbelievable. So I think now we have them. Um, they have big morale issues. Um, angry. Why are you angry? Furious at being fired. Okay. I'll give you a bonus. There you go. 100 grand. That'll uh, help. Back to normal. Um, we've got a few here. We'll sort these out afterwards offline. But yeah, we've got a hell of a roster now by the looks of it. Let's have a look at the creative. Let's just see who the creative think. 
So the creative is the same. Next big things is the same. We've got we've got Matt Cardona now. So that's good. So let's have a look. Should we go? Let's go female side first. Let's see if they've got any female workers that we've had off them. I should have looked at the roster before I did this. I might make it easier. Uh, Desiree. She wasn't with us before, I don't think. Oh no, she is. She's the performance center. Um, I don't think that we. I don't think they have any female wrestlers. Paulina Gore. I don't think she was with us. No, she was with us. What am I about? It would be cool if we had like Ginny come back and Kaylee Ray come back because they were with PWG, but that wasn't the case. Yeah, by the looks of it, they haven't got any female wrestlers, so we'll just go male. Um, troll wrestler. Okay, so Adrian Quest. I don't think we've had him before, so that might be a plus. Uh, Andrew Everett. He wasn't with us before. Uh, let's keep going down. This will take a while, everybody. I'm trying to be quick. Big Duke. We didn't have him before. Bobby Fish. We didn't have before, so he's. He's an, uh, an asset, even though he, in real life he's an arsehole. We've got Chris Masters. I need to change him to Chris Masters. Yeah, I know it already exists. Oh, for God's sake, I don't know. Masterpiece. There you go. Chris Masters. Um, right. Um, who else have we got from them? Oh god, Davy Richards, we're gonna have to get rid of him. I forgot about him. Right, so Davy Richards is out the door. We've got Eddie Edwards, so that's good. He's annoyed though, because we've just got rid of his boyfriend. I mean his tag team partner. There you go. So he's gonna be a good asset. At least it freshens up the main event a bit. Um so we've got him and him in there. Eric Watts, not Eric Watts as in, oh no, tough enough Eric Watts. Uh, Ethan HD, I don't think we had him. We didn't have him before. We got Fandango. Um, it's a shame this isn't the PWG of before, or else we would have got some really, really good workers. Such a shame that in the game that they've deteriorated. We've got this Josephus, whoever he is. Let me know in the comment section. I'm, if I'm meant to know who he is. Is he, uh, he's not Vincent out of, no. He looks a bit like Vincent in Ring of Honor, AEW. Uh, let's keep going down. Larry D. I don't think we had him before. Do you know what would have been the easy way to do it? There you go, Louis Linden. We didn't have him before. Uh, Matthew Justice. Oh, no, we did have Matthew Justice. Mick Moretti, we didn't have before. QT Marshall, we didn't have before, so we've got him now. Or did we? No, I don't think we had QT Marshall before. Uh, just keep going. Ross Von Eric, we didn't have before. I oh, know we did have before, but we got rid of him because we couldn't get his brother in. Sean Malou, I don't think we had him before. Sean Jackson, we didn't have before. Ted DiBiase Jr., we didn't have before. The Blades back. I think that's it, really. Zicky Dice. So we've had some additions here. Um, oh, yeah, I brought in Anna J and Anna Excalibur, so I need to change my announcers. So what we'll do is... Uh, actually, do you know what? I don't, hmm, I don't know. Right, let's try, we'll try him in there, in that role, instead of Joey Styles. Hopefully he'll, that'll be better. Right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to come back in a second with our next show. I just wanted to see if I could actually buy PWG and I wanted to do it live in front of you lot. So I'm back in a second with the next show. Right, we're back. Um, I thought we had Matt Cardona as a wrestler, but he's unfortunately a manager, so I got rid of him. Um, 
yeah, that's about it, pretty much, really. Um, so we've got Anna J in. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three-way singles. And we'll have Anna J if she's available. She might not be available yet, actually. Yeah, she's not available yet. So we'll have her at some point. But we'll put Gulia in there, Valkyrie, and then we'll see if there's any women that we can book. Uh, maybe Shotzi. Oh, Megan Bain. I think she's pretty good. I'll do it this way because my mouse pad just doesn't want to work. At least it's sort of a fresh match. Yep, we'll leave it to the AI because it'll probably just give it to um, Valkyrie. So we'll just do Valkyrie fighting Julia selling after the match. Um, we got a new, I think Eddie Edwards is available. So we'll go, no, Eddie Edwards is not available. We'll put Edge in there, sod it. Edge, um, Darren Kearney's back. So we'll do that at some point. We'll do Nathan Martin. And we'll do Rich Swan just to continue their feud. And what we'll do is we'll have Rich Swan win it due to. Um, actually, we need to protect Nathan Martin because he'll just kick off. What we'll do is botched interference. Oh no, distraction finish, sorry. We'll have Nathan Martin distracted by Darren Kearney, who's not happy with his former tag team partner. And then what we'll do then is after the match, we'll have Nathan Martin fighting Darren Kearney selling. So have that. And what we'll do is we'll do a storyline now. So add storyline. We'll do Martin versus Kearney. I'll put Rich Swan in there as well. As a uh, minor role, supporting role. Um, but he's not aligned with anybody, he's just involved in the matches. So that's that. And then what we'll do now is um <clears throat> sorry, just cleared my throat. How long have we got left? So what I'm gonna do is a um I wanna do a free versus free match. I've gone the wrong way, didn't I? Free versus free. So we'll do Joseph Connors, um Elton Prince and Kit Wilson, who would actually be a very good stable. I might add them as a stable at some point in a minute. And then we'll go male. Um, and we'll give debuts to Chris Masters. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, let's have a look down here. Not any of the, uh, the easier. Oh, Fandango we can give. Him a debut. Um, keep going down here. See what comes up. Uh, Mick, Mick Moretti maybe. Go on then. We'll put Mick Moretti in there. We'll see if any of these are any good in the ring. Probably not. Chris Masters and Fandango are probably too old. Mick Moretti probably won't be good enough. Done 66 minutes, so we've gone. We're just gonna need to knock this down by one minute. There we go. In fact, I'm gonna push this down here, so that'll be the main event and that'll be the closing angle. Um, and that's it, we'll just crack on, right? So, the three way women's match only got a um 65. Megan Bain sustained an injury, she got a 48. Exactly. Excalibur made his debut. Doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to be any issues with the new announced team, so that's good. Um, Angle afterwards got a sixty three, and then the um, 
Three versus three match got a 78 rating. Um, Joseph Connors and Pretty Deadly won. I think I might put them in a new stable, to be honest. Um, everyone on the on the heel side of the team did well. Everybody on the babyface side of the ring didn't do very well at all. So I think I might get rid of Chris Masters and Fandango. Mick Moretti seems all right, though. Rich Swan defeated Edge and Nathan Martin. Um, distraction from Dan Kearney led to it. Edge got his typical 73. Nathan Martin and Rich Swan got their 85. The match got an 82 overall. And then the angle afterwards got a 75. The storyline continues. Um, begins, sorry. Uh, uh, overall rating 78. No popularity changes and 265 people turned up. So slightly less than usual, I think. We get 270. But yeah, that's, a bit of, that's been a bit of an interesting... Uh, episode so far with the takeover of PWG. That'd be fun. Hopefully we can take over a few other promotions that are in depth. Just keep piling up on all the uh, wrestlers. V uh, Rhea Von Slasher and Cremator Von Slasher and that have got married yesterday, so congratulations to them. I think we'll just bring him in for a laugh just to keep her happy. There you go. Married couples. Oh, don't know what's happened there. Um, hold on. Let me go back. There we go. Right. Alex Windsor leaves progress. Viewing figures. 5,301. For God's sake, I wish my mouth would stop doing that. Um, injuries, medical. Right, there we go. Operate on Eddie Edwards, so he'll be back in twenty days. He's injured, that's why we can't pick him at the moment. Anna Jane, oh for God's sake, we've hired Anna Jane. She's on fucking maternity leave. Ah, <sighs> Megan Bain's out for three months as well. Great. Right. Um, I'll be back in a minute with the next show. Right, we're back. Um, I have um after burn is expiring with local midlands tv so i've decided to go with virgin media we will have to pay him 37 and a half grand per show but we do get 25 percent of the revenue so i think it will balance itself out and also because it's on a medium station as well i think it will help us get more um viewers so yeah so let's just see how this goes please note if you do complete this deal not begin immediately so okay that's fine so the deal won't be like i said as it says there it won't be immediate we're still going to be with um local medium Mid midlands until the end of this month so from december onwards we'll be with virgin media um but yeah so that's that really so let's just crack on backstage incidents johnny kidd um, right in the mood backstage doing uh, comical drawings and then Jerry Jenner was brought to wrestling court I can't be bothered to read why gets a bit samey samey after a while when you see him all the time right then so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to have a women's title match we're not going to have feud here because that will they won't let us do that. So um, we're going to have a look, see who we've got available. I think in, uh, I'm going to give Jessica Black a debut. She's probably not very good, but she hasn't debuted yet. So we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully Valkyrie can carry her to a good match. Uh, I'll leave it booked because I know it's just going to automatically pick Valkyrie. And then what we'll do after the match is we'll have Julia attack Valkyrie. After the match, and then what we'll do is we'll have Julia in a match. Um, we'll have her against. I'm trying to think. We haven't. She hasn't wrestled yet, so we'll put her in a match. See if she's any good. She's probably not, but we'll see. We'll have Julia win. And after the match, we'll have um, 
Valkyrie, microphone, Julia, not there. No, she will be there actually. One more. No, she won't be there. She'll be there on screen, but she'll just, it'll be basically Valkyrie, um, Rick and Julia, new a hole, basically. Right, so we've done 45 minutes from them two matches. So what we'll do now is we'll do a tag team match and we'll have. Nathan Martin and who should we have him tag up with? Um, should we go Ted DiBiase Jr. just to give him a debut? And then what we'll do is we'll have Darren Kearney and who do we have him tag up with? Ryan Taylor hasn't wrestled for us. Sal Renara hasn't wrestled for us yet. I'm putting it with Shane Matthews, actually. I don't think Shane Matthews has made his debut for us yet. Or if he has, he hasn't wrestled much. AKA Daddy Magic, for people who don't know who that is. And then what we'll do, we'll do an angle afterwards where Nathan Martin attacks um, Darren Kearney after the match to keep their storyline going. Um, 66 minutes, oh okay, hold on then. We'll just have that as 12 minutes then. Right, let's start the show. So, 76 for the women's match. Uh, Jessica Black did okay, 46, but it was basically because Valkyrie carried the match. But yeah, Valkyrie retains the title. Julia attacks her after the match, getting a 73 rating. Um, Julia carried Maddie Max to a 75 rated match. Um, Julia won 44 for Maddie Max over again okay uh, but got carried by Julia and then um, the microphone angle got 56 we remembered to script it this time so it was a lot better sorry got there got a bit of a burp there um, right and then the main event of Nathan Martin and Ted DiBiase Jr um, they defeated Darren Kearney and Shane Matthews Got a 70 rating. Ted DiBiase Jr. is terrible, so he's got... Shane Matthews is terrible as well, so he's going after this show. Ted DiBiase was rusty, but yeah. Anyway, and then the angle to close the show and uh, got a 71 rating. Post-match beat down by Nathan Martin. Increased the popularity in one region. Got a 72 overall and 270 people turned up, which is, which is the norm usually for us. So, anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the next Afterburn episode. Right, we're back for the last show of the episode, and it's a big event called World Warriors. Um, what we're going to do to kick off the show is I'm going to do a six-way singles. Um, I'm going to put someone, some wrestlers in that we haven't seen, for, well, some we haven't seen for a while, and then some that we have seen, but I want to try them out. Andrew Everett will be one of them. Um, go down here. Uh, Ziki Dice will give him a go. Um, so oh, I forgot to get rid of Sean Shane Matthews. I managed to get rid of Ted DiBiase Jr. We'll try Sean Malua. We'll see how he gets on. We'll go with Ross Von Eric. See how he gets on. Q T Marshall, and then. Petey Williams as well. So we'll have that as a pre-show. We'll have that as a pre-show match, actually, to be honest. Okay, just need to shorten the match length. So that'll be the pre-show match. So let's kick off the... Let's kick off the main show with a six-woman match. So we'll go Julia... Valkyrie, Shotzi, uh, Haruka, Yumasaki, and then Bianca Properby and Aisha Ray. Try that out. Try that out for the women's title. Leave it blank that the AI decide. Like I said, it'll probably be Valkyrie. Uh, we'll do an angle afterwards. We'll just do the normal. Actually, we'll just do a post match. Brawl with Gulia and Valkyrie. So that's that. And then 
Right, so we've done 21 minutes. So let's do a tag team match now. We'll go four way tag team. And we'll do Elton Prince, Kip Wilson. So now we've got them. Um, Anthony Hem. No. Anthony Henry and oh god, what's his name now? Hold on, I'll do it this way instead. Where is it? 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 The word horseman. There you go. Right, so that's them. There was another tag team I want to try. Actually, we'll put the Midnight Ravers in there. Is it pitch perfect? We'll go with pitch perfect. Oh no, we can't go pitch perfect because I think we've already got Zicky Dice in the match. Uh, Allied Pack Allegiance, that, that's the one. Adult, Allied Alliance, get my words out properly today. We'll let, leave it blank, we'll let the AR, this AI decide. It won't let us do a match that long. We try 13 minutes. Yep, that's fine. Shame Anthony Henry can't do 15 minute match. Um, I need to edit his stamina and stuff like that. Right, so we've done the women's, we've done the tag titles, now we just need to do the TV titles. So we'll go one on one match. And we'll have Nathan Martin versus Darren Kearney, first match they've had. We'll go 20 minutes. We'll go steal the show all all that match decisive win tv title on the line yep that's fine oh balls okay we need to shorten this match a bit yep fine actually let me just check that there's two you booked them on the line but the current Oh, yeah, of course. Rich Swan hasn't got the bloody title, has he? Um, Rich Swan's got the title, sorry. Um, so that's that. And then what we'll do is Nathan Martin fighting Darren Kearney, selling after the match. So post match beatdown. And then we'll do Rich Swan defending his TV title against. Uh, who do we have him go against? We've got Adrian Quest, who's a new one. I have him against him. We've got Hakuto Omori. But I might put them in a match separate to the card in case they don't, in case they're not very good. I think Robert Dreisaker might be the one to go with. Um, oh, wait. Right. Um, 15 minutes, TV title on the line, oh actually no, we'll have Rich Swan win this, he's only just won the title back, the Rich Swan's already two time TV champion, quite good pro, um, we'll do a post match beat down afterwards, just to keep the angle perverts happy, um, what I'll do is, I will do Adrian Quest versus um, Amore. Oh, okay. Hold on. We'll knock this down. 15. Oh, can't even do 15. With Adrian Quest, can we do 12? What is the point in having him then if he cannot do a long match? Anyway, right. So we've done 98 minutes. Um, we're all right. We're keeping the angle perverts happy at the moment. So let's do some more matches. Let's do Thomas Billington versus Edge. Um, we'll have Thomas Billington win this. Edge is okay with that. And then um, a 
actually won't do an angle afterwards. And then we'll do a main event of, we'll do a seven way main event. Um, let's think what match we can do here. Should we do it as a ladder match maybe? Mm, yeah, ladder match. Because it probably won't let us do anything too scary. So we'll go. I don't know what I've done here. There we go. All right. So we go pack, and then we'll go rampage brown. If it lets me do that, there you go. Rampage brown. Kid life plus two. Um, Joseph Connors. Gabe Stevenson. Davy Boy Smith. Dave Mastiff. For 20 minutes heavyweight title we'll do storytelling um, I think that's it yeah we'll leave it blank we'll let the AI decide fancy a change of champion to be honest so we'll let we'll see what the AI decides right then I think that's it everybody let's get actually let me just check something this, did I do steal the show? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's fine. Right then. Let's see how we get on. So, in the pre-show match, um, Trick Williams defeated the rest of them. Got a 65 rating. Trick Williams with a 67, which isn't too bad. Ross Van Eric with a 75. So, maybe we'll try out them two in matches with Nathan Martin coming up and that. Or Darren Kearney. Uh... Announcers are fine. Sean Malita was rusty. How did he do anyway? 46, so not very good. Pete Williams was rubbish as well. 81 for the women's match. Jesus Christ, that's, that, that surprised me. Um, Aisha Ray, 72. So there you go. Her, we, at least we've got a new women's wrestler we can put in the mix there. Uh, Shotzi didn't do that well. Stand-up performers, Gulia. Who won anyway? Valkyrie retained her title. Angle afterwards, got a 67. The tag team title match, the Work Horsemen won the tag team titles. They defeated Pretty Deadly, Midnight Ravers, and Allied Alliance. Um, the only thing about having the Work Horsemen's tag team champions is Anthony Henry can't do a match longer than 12 minutes, so um, their tag title reign won't be very long. I just fancied seeing what the AI would do. Work Horsemen win their first tag team titles. The stand-up performer was Elton Prince. Oh, no, it wasn't. Rich Swan, I do apologise. Um, but Alan Prince did well. Kit Wilson was all right. Um, Anthony Henry was terrible. Actually, in fact, I'm going to get rid of the work horsemen. I'm going to get them to lose the tag titles first, and then I'm going to get rid of them. Logan Bryce surprised me, 76, so that's good. Something to watch out for. 81 rating for the Nathan Martin Darren Kearney match. First match of many. Um, Storyline begins. Well, not begins, but progresses with this match. Darren Kearney seemed off his game, unfortunately. Only a 78 for him, but Nathan Martin got an 85. Angle afterwards got a 76, so it looks like the storyline is doing well. Um, Oh, what an idiot. I put Rich Swan in another match. Oh, well, he just carried on. Um, Rich Swan got an 85 ring rating, which is quite surprising. He um defeated... Dreisaker to retain his TV title. Angle afterwards got a 66. And then the match between Amore and Quest got a 62 rating. Amore won. Uh, Okuto Amore got a 69, but Adrian Quest got a 39, so I'll probably have to get rid of Adrian Quest as well. And then Thomas Billington defeated Edge, got an 85 rating, which was really good. Edge with only 69 rating, slightly down. From his usual 73. And then in the main event, Pac decided to retain his title. Um, got a 79 rating. Pac with an 80. Kid Lacoste with a 2 with 84. Joseph Connors with an 83. The rest were okay, I suppose. Rampage, disappointing. Thought he'd be better than that. 
But overall, we did well. 781 people turned up, 79 rating, and we've improved our popularity in 33 regions. So not too bad at all. Um, good way to end the episode, I think. And then what I'll do is next week, um, next Wednesday, we'll have another Fight Club Pro episode. Hopefully by that point, we'll have more. The, the new TEW game will be out by then, so that'll be good. 29,907 viewers overall, so that's a, I think that's up from last pay-per-view that we did. Um, but yeah, on that note, I'm going to save this. I will figure that out tomorrow. And I'll, uh, I'll uh, just let me put this up here. Um, yeah, so I'll be back on Wednesday with another TW 2020 Fight Club Pro episode. Thank you for watching. And thank you for always, in, you know, commenting, liking the videos, um, subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done that already, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my booking style. Let me, let me know what you think of how I'm doing with the Fight Club Pro save. Um, also, let me know if you think I'm making a mistake quitting this save now and starting fresh. Because if there's enough people out there that comment, um, to let me know that they, they're really enjoying the save as it is and they don't want me to start again fresh, let me know. Um, if I don't hear anything from too many people, I'll assume I'm doing the right thing. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with a, another TW episode, this time with Ring of Honor. And I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye.